Oh, I hope all my shit is together this time. Gods be able. I recently saw Maltese Falcon. Again, I've seen it before, but I hadn't seen it in a long time. And there's a line in it that I really, really liked. There's this crime boss, I guess you'd call him. He like he fences antiques and stuff, and he says uh, he he proposes a toast. And what he actually ends up saying is, uh, actually, this isn't the gas station I really want to go to, but it's fine. What he ends up saying is, "Here's to plain speaking and clear understanding." And I think I, if I would take that a little bit more to heart, then my vlogs will end up being a lot better. Anyway, first order of the day is to get gas. Okay. Okay, so, so far this morning, I have forgotten to strap up my helmet. I have forgotten the paperwork for my overnight reservations in San Simeon. And I have forgotten to get gas the night before, so I had to do it this morning. So hopefully, you know, these things come in threes and I won't have any more realizations of failure along the way. And I'll have a wonderful time on my trip. So I'm finally on the road, I'm all packed up, I got everything squared away, and I'm on my way up to Big Sur. I'm doing a Big Sur road trip. It's going to be a two-day trip up, and then I'm going to spend a day hanging out with my friend who lives up in Napa, and then I'm going to spend one day coming back. I'm going to come back down the five, actually, because it's a whole hell of a lot faster. It's going to be a total of probably 13 hours driving up the coast to get to, uh, well, even farther, 13 hours from where I'm at right now in Orange County up to my destination in uh, San Francisco and then another probably hour or two from there to Napa depending on how traffic is and you know I could split lanes which will make it faster but it's still you know 30 miles an hour is half as fast as 60 so even if I'm splitting through slow traffic it's going to take me longer but I'm not thinking about that right now all I'm thinking about is Big Sur because this should be a really fun trip uh, the California coast is a tour I've wanted to do on my motorcycle ever since I got my first bike uh, four years ago, uh, almost five years ago now. And I just never had the chance or, well, maybe it would be more accurate to say I never had the courage to do it because I'm always, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a worrier. I tend to worry something's going to go wrong and then I'll, I'll end up, you know, foregoing fun, life-enriching activities because I'm worried something's going to go wrong. So this is definitely a step outside of my comfort zone. Uh, I sort of just decided I was going to do this maybe less than a week ago and just started slapping together camping supplies and stuff. I didn't really do any planning. The only planning I did was uh, deciding where I wanted to stay for the night because, uh, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to just pitching up on the side of the road, but it's illegal. So, you know, although the, the idea of setting, you know, just sleeping on the side of the road doesn't bother me, but the idea of possibly being arrested bothers me. And I try not to cross any cops or, you know, law enforcement officials if I can avoid it. Not because I think the laws that they're serving are necessarily just or logical, but because I just don't want to spend the time in the clink. So anyway, uh, yeah, I've got everything squared away. Got gas in the tank. Remembered to strap up my helmet this time. Got my paperwork for the campsite, and I'm on my way at last. Uh, one thing that I, uh, I'm very happy about this road trip is that it takes place entirely in California, which means that uh, lane splitting will be legal the entire time. I'm also very happy with uh, my helmet setup. It took me a lot, a huge, like I can't dis describe how much work I've put into getting this helmet setup squared away. It's just taken pretty much since I got the new drift the last four or five months, maybe longer. I don't even know. It's been a long time I've been working on this setup. And I finally, finally, finally found a setup that works. I've got the correct mic plugged into the camera and I've got it set up in a good part of the helmet. And I'll describe this later when I'm not on the freeway. But the setup is so good now that 
I can almost vlog on at full freeway speed. I mean, I can vlog at freeway speed. It, it's kind of getting on the freeway. I haven't got on, on the proper freeway yet, so I'm still going slow enough to talk. But, you know, I, I did a mic test yesterday at 70 miles an hour, and you can still hear me talking. I, you know, I started getting blasted out by the wind at that speed, but more or less, I was still audible, so that was pretty cool. Very happy with how this helmet setup has turned out. For what it's worth, this is what I sound like when I'm raising my voice to, to, to try and vlog over 70 miles an hour. I'm guessing you can probably hear me, but it's pretty distorted. There's probably a lot of clipping and a lot of wind noise. But if anything interesting enough pops into my head that I feel like I need to say it, then I can vlog at 70. But I'm going to try not to. I just... There's no real need to because there's going to be, you know, I'm going to spend probably an hour and a half maybe getting to the coast, to PCH. And then once I'm there, there won't be any more 70 mile an hour speed limits for a while. So I'll be able to vlog to my heart's content. 